The new recombinant protein vaccines jointly developed by the Institute of Microbiology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Anhui Zhifei Long Kong Biopharmaceutical Company. Rather than injecting a whole inactivated pathogen to trigger an immune response, like previously approved vaccines, purified pieces of the virus's protein to train the immune system. These fragments are incapable of causing diseases, making such vaccines very safe. Recombinant protein vaccines do now need to be manufactured in high biosecurity laboratories, making them easier to produce, and they have low storage requirements. The vaccine granted to emergency use by China is currently in late-stage clinical trials in Uzbekistan, Pakistan, Ecuador and Indonesia. There are plans to inoculate 29,000 volunteers. We've already got results from our interim clinical trials, showing the vaccine is effective. We need to collect enough data, and we're also looking forward to its phase three clinical trials results. We can't currently give a specific date for when the results come out because we're still waiting for the results from our double-blind trials. Gulf says China has adopted five technological approaches to developing COVID-19 vaccines, inactivated vaccines, recombinant protein vaccines, adenovirus vector vaccines, nucleic acid vaccines, and vaccines using attenuated influenza virus as vectors. Of these, the first three have been approved for use. Media reports from outside China also suggest that Beijing's COVID-19 vaccine to be authorized in the country. The head of China's CDC says he welcomes cooperation with other countries when it comes to development of vaccines. I'm not currently sure about the report, but in my personal opinion, if true, I'd just like to say that we should welcome foreign COVID-19 vaccines to China, because we're not currently sure which vaccines are most effective so we need to give people more choices. The head of China's CDC also said that Chinese researchers are willing to cooperate with scientists around the world to fight against COVID-19 while finding better ways to protect human health. Yu Yang, CGTN, Beijing.